Welcome back to Ta-da! 3D Printing. I've had a few requests for ABS on the Prusa XL. I haven't printed ABS much at all, especially I haven't printed anything on the Prusa XL. So I wanted to start with a temp tower first. I was super happy to find these models on printables by Reefener. He has multiple different filaments and he does have things that are already sliced for the Prusa XL with a G code. So you can just jump right into it. And of course there are also the 3MF files so if you want to make any modifications you can. This filament that I have is a little bit old. I actually ordered it on accident. It's by Gizmo Dorks and I was trying to get a color change. I thought I got PLA but when I ordered it and I finally got it in I realized it was ABS. I did mess around with it a little bit but I don't really have a need for ABS. So I've had this sitting for a little while. Let's see if we can make it work. So as it starts to show the print, you can see a little bit of the color change already. This is a green filament that shifts to more of a yellow tone when it's hot. So you can see as it's printing, it's printing a lighter shade or more bright yellow than the green of the roll next to it. I'm really glad to have this model already ready with the G codes because I feel like in the past for the Prusa XL, I kept modding things from the mini and I just didn't feel like they were working quite right. The purge line would always be a little bit funny. I did actually pull the purge line on this one. I don't know if you noticed on the very beginning th that it was a little bit, there was a little bit of ooze from the nozzle. So I just pulled that right off. I didn't want anything to get caught. Okay, so let's see how it turned out. I did run this with no sort of enclosure. I did turn the AC off in my room and there was nobody in there overnight. So it did get a little bit toasty in there. Um, I think that's why even when I'm pulling this off, it's still pretty bright yellow, um, even though it sat overnight, but um, I feel like it printed, the actual tower did a good job. There's some sagging on some of the layers. I'm kind of feeling like the 240 looks the best as far as the sagging on the layer, um, and there's not a lot of stringing at that temperature either, so... I think that's the, what I'm going to go ahead and try for my next print. Okay, so this Lotus Flower Sculpture by Namira. I have seen this before and I had tagged it a while back. I really want to try this out. I think it's such a pretty print, pretty design. I'm going to go with the low resolution one because I assume that means that it'll be a little bit easier to print. I don't know. I pulled it in the slicer and I want to go with a little bit smaller layer height. I'm going to go with 2.5 quality and of course I'm going to just modify the filament over to the generic ABS and then I'm going to change the temperature a little bit as well. It's going to be default is 255. I felt like 240 was better so I'm going to start it that way and let's see how it turns out. At regular scale this print should be a little bit over three hours and it starts off okay, but it doesn't last long. I mean, it pretty quickly um, lo loosens from the bed and has issues and starts a spaghetti mess. I don't catch it right away. There's even a huge amount of the spaghetti that falls off the front and continues printing multiple times like that. I'm glad that it does do this though because it doesn't get to a point where it turns into a blob on the nozzle. I don't have any idea how I managed that, but I'm so glad that I don't have a huge mess to clean up on top of figuring this out. Okay, so this is the point that I catch it at and I do go ahead and turn it off. You can see the lights come on when I click, start clicking things and get it to shut off. But I like the color of this filament. You can see the tower right there next to it has already cooled. So I wanted to show you guys just a little bit the color change on this. So I grab a little bit of this spaghetti mess and I take it over to my AC unit, turn that on and get it cooling. And you can see right now that it's bright yellow. But even quickly when I put it up to the AC unit, this is a split unit, you can see it starts turning green. It, it works very quickly. I'm kind of surprised. In the center where there's thicker blobs, of course, it's going to take a little bit longer. 
but this spaghetti is a great way to show you guys how quickly it'll switch back and forth between the two colors. So now I just need it to actually print what I'm looking for. I had in my mind with this green that I wanted to print a plant. So I go back to Slicer and I pull in the Cactus Planter. Um, this one I had modified a little bit to have the tissue holder for the printables contest. And this one doesn't have, it's not hollowed out. So it's just a little bit more normal of a cactus. And because it's so small, I, I wanted to use it just to completely print one single thing, not change the temperatures like I did on the temp tower and see if I can get something that's a little bit simpler to print. I also change the layer height to 0.15 so that it'll print a little bit more detailed, see if that'll help. And I kept it at the 240. This ends up being a terrible angle, but it does start to print, but not very far. It pulls away from the bed pretty quickly. It almost printed the bottom of the planter, but not completely. So I'm going to go ahead and try it one more time and just see if maybe it was just a fluke. So I'm going to try it again. It starts okay, but pretty quickly pops off of the bed and starts a spaghetti mess again. Both times it gets almost completely through the planter, but has an issue when it switches to the actual plant. So I thought, well, maybe I need to just go ahead and slice off the plant. That's all that I really want that color anyways, and see if that'll be a little bit easier for it to print. Same layer height, but I do swap back to the generic ABS filament default, which is 255 for the temperature. And I think that this is gonna work. It doesn't seem like it's gonna pop off the bed and it does complete the print. Okay, so this is a super tiny cactus, but it printed good and you can see it's still pretty bright yellow from the print bed and from just printing. Of course, on the Prusa XL, there is no point in printing something this small. So I go back into Slicer and I'm going to scale it up. Um, right now I'm at 100%, so I'm gonna scale it up to 1,000%. So this ends up being about seven and a quarter diameter or about 185 millimeters. I'd like to print this faster though, so I'm gonna go ahead and make a few other modifications. I'm gonna change the layer height from 0.15 that I've been printing at, and I'm going to swap it to 0.32. And then also I want to change the infill and I probably need to just make a, a default or a setting change on this because I, I'm always changing it, but I'm going to change from the grid to the lightning, but I'm going to go ahead and just keep it at the 20% uh, for the infill amount. This puts the print time at about five and a half hours and that should work. Because it is the middle of summer in Texas, I do switch my AC back on. Um, for the temp tower I, and some of the smaller ones, I had it off just because I was a little bit paranoid, but now that I feel like the temperature is right at the 255, I'm gonna see if I can print it without an enclosure. It is in a separate room. There's not breezes or anything like that, but the AC does run pretty close to the Prusa XL. So the print is doing good. It does seem like it catches a crash detection here and there, but it stays adhered to the bed. I did use the satin sheet on all of these. Um, I had looked on the Prusa website and I feel like that was the correct choice for this um, because I'm trying to have a little bit more bed adhesion. Okay, it's finished. Let's see how it looks. To start off with, I'm happy it's not a spaghetti mess. It did complete. And this is very similar to the tissue holder size. Um, you can see just some of the dimensions of it. Um, right here, there's a couple spots where I feel like it skipped a little bit. There was a little bit of blob there, and now there's a little bit of a line. So it didn't print perfect all the way across. I don't know if that was just, you know, a fluke. Um, but it feels good. It doesn't feel like hollow, like the... Um, the boat that I did with the 5% infill. So let's see how it looks when I cool it off now. Even with this pretty large size print, it doesn't take long at all for it to start to cool. And I really like seeing it shift rather than being solid yellow or solid green. It's kind of cool to see it in the in-between as it's adjusting the color. 
And I would imagine that anything that would change the temperature, so whether it be putting it outside or inside or putting it um, in water, hot or cold water, I would think pretty much anything would shift the color. Yeah, I'm really happy with how this turned out. Underneath there is a little bit of a spot, but I think it printed pretty good overall. I also printed a base for it just out of PLA. I, I don't have any other ABS. So I printed this on the MK4, the Mark IV, and it fits okay. I probably could have adjusted my sizing just a little bit, but I really just wanted it to have a complete print. And I like how it turned out. So hopefully that answers some of your questions that you can print ABS. Um, I do feel like it does smell pretty strong. So it may not be something you wanna use without an enclosure or it may need to be in a separate room if it's something that somebody's gonna be in. But whether you like ABS or you like a different type of filament, I think the color change is definitely something to check out. Here I have it with a little bit more warm on the left and cooler on the right. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know what you print with ABS so I can do another test for you guys. Thanks for watching.